What's up everybody? If you've been following along, you know that we have the Vanos removed. Our next step now is going to be removing the exhaust and intake hubs, the cam gears, and we're going to be replacing the timing chain guide. Ours was actually broken. If you're serious about bulletproofing your Vanos, you should consider replacing all of these components. We're personally using Dr. Vanos because they're a huge improvement from stock. Okay, it's all separated and we still have our bolts in. So now we're just gonna unscrew those and it's gonna come out nice and easy. Okay, you wanna make sure you keep that. One stayed in the block by my thumb and one came with the Vanos. And those are alignment dowels. And you gotta put those back in the block. And there it is. There's the Vanos right there. Before you take the exhaust hub off, go ahead and put a straight edge across those two teeth that stick out. And then make a mark over here on the block so that you remember where it is. So when you reinstall, you get it right. It's gonna make your timing job a lot simpler. Okay, next you're taking off the exhaust hub and you have six bolts you need to take out so that you can remove it. Okay. And it's a 10 millimeter. We're gonna pull the exhaust drive hub off and you can see that the spline shaft, the teeth are just, really you can't even see them in here where my fingernail is. Because he's moving in and out and see how that changes the timing of that? That's how it changes timing. And these are showing. So when we put this back together, you wanna to get it pretty close to where the teeth are just disappeared in there and these are just barely showing and they're going to even up real nice on your unit. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull this guy out. It's going to come with everything. Okay, there's the exhaust line gear. And you can see how it's longer than the intake. So we know that's exhaust. And out comes this guy. hung up on the rags I think probably there's also a washer behind this so we got to make sure that we all right when you're pulling this chain guide off go ahead and loosen up those two those two screws don't pull them out don't pull them out there's washers behind them and you don't want to lose them pull that guy out and now we're ready to remove the hub. There's the hub, and here is this washer. I stick my finger in here, so I can't lose it. I don't want that to come off. Right now it's hanging on by oil. There it is. You, know, you wanna make sure you keep the direction of that true. There's a inside and outside, and they fit in these little dogs right there, just like that. Okay, we're gonna put the exhaust hub back into the Vanos and we're gonna check for rattle. And there's the rattle that you might hear in your Vanos amongst other things, but here's one possibility. So that's pretty sloppy. But we're gonna be fixing that. Okay, now it's time to change these cam sprockets and we're also gonna change this chain guide. And we're gonna start by doing that by using this wrench here to take off the chain tensioner. So that's gonna be right down in there. We can't really show you it because we can't get to it. But you use that wrench, it's about a 32 millimeter, and you're gonna break that loose, and that chain is gonna come loose. Get a rag underneath there so that when you take it off, the oil can drip into that instead of in your car. And there's a crush washer on this right there and we're gonna change that out go ahead and pull out all your rags but now you're gonna to have to be extra careful you're gonna pull those gears out okay the tensions off 
and we're going to break the bolt loose that actually holds the chain guide on it's right here and that takes a, a 10 on the uh, Allen's, Allen head. Okay, now you can remove the sprocket as it's a floating sprocket. And it'll just pop out. Make sure you remove the exhaust first while keeping the intake clipped. And then you'll have access to your chain guide. Now make sure you don't drop anything. take a tension right now okay yeah. the brown thing just below where the sprocket was you get yourself some bent needle nose like this makes it easy that, that light right in my eye I got no depth perception All right, we actually found a piece of broken chain guide in our engine, and so we're pulling it out. And that'll cause you a lot of problems, so before you start yanking everything out, make sure you look to see if anything's broken in there, because that will drop in your engine and give you hell. All right, now we can continue pulling out the rest of our chain guide. That's and you can see what piece is broken off there on the front. Okay, now we're changing the intake and exhaust cam sprockets. So we're first gonna take off this clamp so that this what this was doing was keeping that gear onto the boss. No inside or out on this. And go ahead and clamp it. There we go. Okay, here's why we're changing our chain guide. As you can see, got a broken one and lots of wear. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. This is a 90,000 mile engine. And you already got these kind of problems, so it might be a good idea to change yours. All right, we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna put this chain guide in now. And that little piece on the end, that's gonna go on top of the bottom chain guide. So we're going to go ahead and put that in now. Got to put the bolt in. Got to get up on top. There it is. Alright, using a size 10 Allen head wrench, we're going to torque that down to 18 foot pounds or 24 Newton meters. That's it right you're there. You're going to go, it's going to click, and then you know you're at the right spot. Alright, that's complete now. We're going to be moving on to our next step in the next video. If you have any questions or comments about this project, please leave them below.